different things will happen, but on India ahead, we always focus on things which are important to humanity in general. We're going to talk about COVID. Now, six states, including Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, continue to see a sharp surge in the daily new COVID cases, accounting for almost 86% of the total fresh cases across the country. Kerala happens to be the second highest state to record a surge in daily cases with at least over 2,700 positive cases in the last 24 hours. These six states also contribute to about 88% of deaths in the country in the last one day. Kerala has seen at least 15 daily deaths. You can see those graphics on your screen. These are the states. I would like my producer to pull that up once again. This Maharashtra, Kerala, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Karnataka, these are the states which are dangerous. Now, according to the ministry, the total number of cases uh, in UK, South Africa and Brazil um, uh, during the SARS it has reached 242. So let's understand what's really going on, what is the reason and you know, I want to make this very clear. I didn't want to make politics, you know, I didn't want to make politics dominate this story one political party accusing the other of neglect. So therefore, I have a doctor and the scientific advisor, a very senior doctor of IMA, Dr. Rajiv Jayadevan, to weigh in on this. How are you, Dr. Jayadevan, today? Good afternoon. I am very well. Thank you. And you? I am good. Thank you for asking. Uh, Dr. Jayadevan, I, you know, like I said, the rider is that I don't want to play politics over COVID because it involves you, me and everybody. Uh, considering that India had majorly focuses on South India, I want to ask you, what do you think can be the reason for Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka, you know, accounting for nearly 86% of cases? Well, there are several reasons for this. COVID-19, as you know, affects different parts of the world in different forms. Right. <laughs> but the theme is multiple waves. Big waves are known to occur even in places that had severe pandemic in the beginning. So people, for want of better terms, call it first wave, second wave, and so on. I see it just like the tip of a mountain range. We are standing at one end of the mountain range, and we're going to see the virus surge, and it will come down and surge and come down. If you take the example of South Africa, for example, mm -hmm. they had a large surge in April last year, which mm -hmm. lasted about three and a half months, mm -hmm. and then came a lull of around three and a half months, and then came a <clears throat> massive surge, which was so big, it dwarfed the first surge. And that also lasted about three and three to four months. <clears throat> so this is the trend that you see worldwide. And uh, it's not like every area is going to have the same kind of graph. But there are several factors that cause such surges. So, For Dr. Instance, Jai Devan, just, a, just, a, just a minute. <clears throat> it is always our endeavor not to create panning amongst people. So, nothing to panic. Would you add that, Ryder? It's just another trend. That's it. A surge. Yes, it is. Yeah, there are two factors that are, you can you can classify the reasons in it too. You know, we like to, scientists always like to classify. One is <clears throat> the human factors that we can control as individuals and as societies. And the other is the extraneous factors, including the nature of the virus, the the weather, the, the kind of uh, interactions people have, uh, the social structure, all of that. So if we focus on the things we can change, we know that there are several nations that have controlled the pandemic uh, almost to a point of submission. That right. is zero. The virus has, has literally not entered their, their country. Right. Now, if we follow their strategy, we know that the old-fashioned public health methods, that is, you identify who is infected, hmm test the person, test the contacts, do contact tracing, old-fashioned, you know, paper, pen and paper kind of work, old-fashioned right, work, right, nothing factory right. about this, no magic medicines. <clears throat> and then you track them backwards, you make sure they're isolated, and you make sure that there are no massive social gatherings, mm. especially indoor gatherings, and you keep a limit on travel. But unfortunately, India is such a large area that you can't impose travel restrictions. Yeah. For an island nation, it is very easy to restrict travel because, you know, there are only two or three ports by which people enter your nation and you can easily Dr. control uh, that. Australia Jaydevan. did that. Dr. Jaydevan, I'm that. sorry I'm interjecting in this fashion. My apologies to you, sir. But unlike, you know, 
other people who are politicians. Why am I being, you know, kind of coy? Politicians who would associate this with, oh, there were elections, oh, there was a festival, you know, maybe of uh, Deepavali which came and went, or, you know, it's Christmas. You do not associate this with large gatherings. You just feel that, you know, it is the climate, it is the weather, it is the social structure, and it is a second surge. And perhaps we need to, you know, fight this. Uh, you know, uh, whatever is humanly possible. Would you agree or would you say, no, no, there were large gatherings? Onam in Kerala, that was blamed, remember? All over the world, there are large gatherings happening. And uh, it is not the uh, not the case of Kerala alone or Tamil Nadu alone. <clears throat> if you, you see, I'm trained in CMC Velour. So if I, I'm in touch with the faculty there, they had a massive surge uh, sometime uh, in the middle of last year. And they and the CMC Velour Hospital was... Mm -hmm catering to the most number of patients. They had around 800 inpatients. Now they have around 20, you know, a couple of weeks back. So we know that the virus will settle with, with time and people try to create a narrative after they see how the virus is behaving. But we must also recognize that following the examples of these nations I mentioned, there are methods to reduce the impact of this virus on people. See, the virus is a joke for people whose lives have not been affected. Right. For them, it's just trivia. But I know people whose parents have been uh, have succumbed to this. I know people who have been severely affected. Uh, I have classmates who are severely affected, who are critically ill. So this is this is here to stay, and we just need to understand that we have to buckle down for the long term. And when we get a recess, it is great. But a recess is just a recess. It will come back. For example, in Kerala, in January, we sounded the alarm from Cochin where uh, we used a special parameter, which in fact I tweeted about yesterday. We used what is called the tree and leaf method uh, to uh, to estimate the amount of COVID in a society. See, there are many methods Dr. of Jai estimating Devan, COVID Dr. in Jai a society. Devan, you yeah, I know, you know, Dr. Jai Devan, but the takeaway <clears throat> from this is this, you know, yes. you said take yeah, care. Me. You know, we need to take care. I know that a lot of people are getting vaccinated, but the point is, that we have to keep do due diligence. I mean, mask up, which I'm going to do the minute I go away from this table. And this remains with us all through whenever we are anchoring. Dr. Jaydevan, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast and saying that there is nothing to panic. This is a surge. We have to do what it takes. Thank you so much, sir. The Trinamool Congress has announced a list of candidates for 291 seats. The TMC